Welcome back to Fact Friday. I think today's topic will interest a lot of you. Let's start out by talking about addiction, not to drugs or alcohol, but to something most people eat at every meal, sugar. It lights up your brain's reward centers, just like cocaine or heroin. And for some people, it can be just as hard to quit. But is everyone who eats sugar addicted? Not exactly. The better comparison might surprise you. Sugar behaves a lot more like alcohol. Here's what's really going on. Sugar activates what's called the mesolimbic dopamine system. That's the brain's built-in pleasure and motivation circuit. This area lives deep inside our primitive brain, the same region that existed long before our logical frontal lobe ever developed. That ancient wiring guided our ancestors to do things that felt good because they helped us survive, eating, reproducing, connecting, and seeking safety. When something was rewarding, dopamine said, remember that and do it again. It was simple and brilliant, but modern food hijacked that same system. Today, sugar and refined carbohydrates overstimulate it again and again. That brain gets flooded with dopamine, and over time, those receptors become less sensitive. So you need more to feel that same reward. That's why one cookie turns into half a box and not everyone can respond the same way. Just like alcohol, some people can handle a little sugar and stop. Others, especially those with a history of addiction, anxiety, ADHD, or insulin resistance are far more vulnerable. And here's the tricky part. Sugar is legal, socially acceptable, and marketed as comfort. So most people never realize their ancient survival system is being tricked into modern dependence. So let's talk about why keto, low carb, or carnivore can help. When you remove sugar and refined carbs, your brain finally gets off that dopamine roller coaster. Instead, you start running on ketones, a steady, clean energy source for the brain. Ketones do not trigger the same dopamine spikes. They provide smooth, stable energy that allows your brain's reward system to reset. That's why people often say, for the first time, I feel calm for no reason at all. That calm is balance, metabolic and neurological healing. So if you or someone you love struggles with cravings, anxiety, or recover, remember, this is not a lack of willpower, it's biology. And that same ancient wiring that once kept us alive can now keep us stuck unless we fuel it differently. Feed your brain stability, not spikes. Let ketones do the quiet work of healing your energy, your focus, and your peace of mind. And if this fascinated you, check out my other videos on mitochondrial health and metabolism because the brain and body are never separate. I'm Dr. Rose, the Primal Professor. Stay curious, stay primal, and give your brain the steady feel it was designed for. I'll see you tomorrow on the next Daily Spoonful.